Hello and welcome to the podcast, Prophecy Insights with Burroughs Staff. Today is Monday, October 17, 2016. The title of today's podcast is Lawlessness and the End Times. First thing I'd like to do is read to you a scripture uh second Thessal- sorry second Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 7 through 9 for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work only he who now restrains will do so until he's taken out of the way and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, lying wonders. Verse 10, and with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And then what I'd like us to do, please, is uh, go to First John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh, whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. So the premise of today's podcast, the foundation, is that before we knew Christ... God saw us as being lawless, sinners, those who commit lawless deeds. So that's a given. So if we are lawless apart from Christ, then there is one who is behind that lawlessness that is the author of it, and that would be Satan, of course. The next thought that I want to give to you is that we know that the lawless one is coming. So it would make sense that in the days right before the coming of Jesus Christ, society would take on a behavior of lawlessness. And um, I would challenge anyone listening to this podcast that if that is not the case, um, then you know, just prove it to me because everywhere you look today, you see lawlessness. Now, I'm not going to go through the litany of actions that people are committing today in our society and worldwide that show us that lawlessness exists. I think anyone that has any common sense and that has listened to any news on TV or read a newspaper knows that the days we're living in are lawless. But I want to focus uh, our thought of lawlessness right now on the judicial system. I was listening to Frank Gaffney at the Center for Security and Policy. That You can get to his site by going to centerforsecuritypolicy.org. Uh, I was listening to him, and you know, Frank uh, used to be on Fox News a lot. Uh, He's hardly there anymore ever since the Saudis bought a majority ownership in Fox News. All of a sudden, people like Frank stopped appearing. Uh, I'll let you come to your own conclusions on that. But anyway, Frank is brilliant when it comes to foreign relations, geopolitics, and... um, and what's going on in America and outside of America from a political, geopolitic, foreign relations perspective. Very, very smart guy. I was listening to his podcast. He was talking about the judicial system uh, with one of his guests, and they brought up this issue that the electorate... um, today in America is being changed by judges that Obama has put into place. These judges are making laws 
like, as an example, um, you, certain states cannot check to verify the actual age of a voter. They're making that illegal. The judges are doing that, not Congress, the judges. They're doing things like that. They're doing things like changing the political landscape, the map, electoral map, if you will. And we all know that judges are supposed to support the law that's on the books. Judges don't make law. Judges uphold and support the law that Congress makes. Making law, that power is given to Congress. Why? Because our founders didn't want there to be crossover of powers, abuse of powers between the judicial system and Congress um, the ex and the executive branch of our government. And so Congress makes law, judges support and uphold it. Well, today, everything's upside down. Judges are actually making law, which is against the law, and against our Constitution. Why am I bringing this up? Because uh, this isn't really a political uh, podcast today. I'm bringing it up because it points to the scriptures that I just read, that we're living in the days of lawlessness. And the fact that we're living in the days of lawlessness points to the reality that Jesus Christ is coming back for his church, for the bride, for believers, soon, sooner than later. And the scary thing, if I can put it this way, about the judicial system making laws is it's a really small step where the judiciary can make laws that could be anti-Christian and end up putting Christians in jail. And so to have a breakdown of the structure of America as far as Congress, the judicial system, our political system, it's very dangerous for our country. It's very dangerous for Christians. And so I wanted to leave you with that thought. I would encourage you to go again to the Center for Security and Policy, centerforsecuritypolicy.org, and subscribe to Frank Gaffney's podcast. Um, you'll learn a lot. It's really good information. Um, but that's one of my sources that I go to when I want to uh, beef up my knowledge on what's going on uh, within the United States of America. News that you don't get anywhere else. Uh, you won't hear this stuff on the, on the uh, traditional news media. They just don't talk about the truth anymore. With that being said, I'd like to encourage you, if you know the Lord, to get as close to him as you can, because the time of his return is around the corner. I believe that. And if you don't know the Lord, I'd like to encourage you to go to brosteph.com or brosteph.org and uh, click on the information at the bottom of my page e -E, on either site that says, uh, I want to accept Jesus as my Savior, something to that effect. You'll see it. It's in big red. Uh, click on that. Uh, follow the instructions there. Watch the two videos and then read the information I've provided, the Roman road on how to ask Christ into your life. It's asking Christ into your life isn't hard, uh, but I would like you to know what you're doing and to do it with forethought in mind. Uh, this is Bro Steph. I'm going to bring this podcast to a close. Been a privilege uh, talking with you today. I pray that you'll share this information with your social media contacts. Um, have yourselves a great day. Remember to live out your faith. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming back soon.